roll our garbage and recycling bins to the street every week, but many people don't know much about what happens to it after that. Well, in Cleveland, the cost of recycling was so high, plastic bottles and paper are going to the landfill with the rest of your dirty garbage. News 5's Kevin Berry explains what went wrong. Recycling in Cuyahoga County is a tale of two journeys. The stuff in blue bins on Ren Brumfield's Lakewood Street goes to a sorting facility and eventually gets reused. I think we do a good job here in Lakewood. I'm, I'm really proud of how we handle our recycling. The stuff in recycling bins on Brennan Davis's Cleveland Street a few miles away goes to the landfill. I was pretty frustrated. I think there are some people who still don't know that our recycling is being landfilled. That means that the garbage in this bin is going to the same spot as the recycling in this bin. And yet the city of Cleveland is still sending one truck to pick up each of them. So two trucks to every house, every collection bin. <laughs> The city tells News 5 they want residents to keep separating garbage and recycling so that when there's a new contract, the program can start up again immediately and they need the extra trucks to carry all the waste anyway. Experts say that's a good idea, keeping residents in the habit of recycling. But they also say a new contract could take a year to finalize. The city didn't respond to our question about considering new routes for trucks in the meantime, so two don't have to visit every home every collection day. It matters because we produce a lot of waste as a community. Cleveland Recycling goes to the landfill right now because the city says the one bid that it received for a new contract was too expensive. Diane Bickett at the Cuyahoga County Solid Waste District helped cities negotiate those contracts and teach residents how to recycle properly. The big challenge is, you know, educating people on how to do it right. And it's clear from the one bid Cleveland got that Clevelanders are doing it wrong putting materials that cannot be recycled in with materials that can, contaminating the hall. We learned from the um, company that was handling that material, Kimball in Twinsburg, that it was at about 65%. It was more trash than recycling, essentially. That means Cleveland would have to pay recycling companies much more than other cities to sort it out. Compared to Cleveland's 65% contamination, Diane says the rest of the county is between 17 and 25% making the cost much easier to swallow for those other cities. We have not seen any cities stopping their programs. So far, Cleveland's hired a consultant to try to fix its recycling program so it can get a contract to process that recycling again. But experts tell us that that process could take months. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. Now, if you're confused about what can be recycled and how to do it, you're not alone. Check out the story on our News 5 app for more information about how to figure it out and a web exclusive about what can be put into your little blue bins.